today I have something special for you. I'm doing an unboxing. I picked this up from eBay. It's a uh, it's the uh, text board, rotisserie grill and spit. It's uh, above ground. You do the above ground stuff. I already showed you guys. There it is. I showed you guys what it is. Hey, I'm gonna do an unboxing. I'm get this thing out of here. I'm gonna show you guys uh, what what's inside here. Um, I paid fifty-two dollars and fifty-six cents on eBay for this. So hopefully. Uh, it's going to be what it advertises it to be. What I'm going to do is, one of my future cooks, I'm actually going to need this. Um, I'm going to utilize this, one of my future cooks. Might as well, uh, you know, 52, 56, and if it's a piece of crap, it doesn't work very good. Hey, ain't no big loss. So, let's, uh, let's get the camera down. Let's get this thing unboxed. Let's get my tool to unbox. So here we go. Alright, so that's the grate. It's a 24 by 16 inch grate, which is uh, pretty small. Stainless steel. Feels pretty thick. That's a leg. That's a leg. Here's the spit to turn it on to. To turn it right there. Pretty cool. These are outside handles to keep stuff warm. I'm not sure what that is. I'll soon find out. That's all there is to that. I'm gonna get these uh, instructions read and then I'll be right back with you. All right, so. I have the platform, the cooking surface, turned upside down, and these are the legs. You got these little, these little collar pins here. That's going to be inserted into here. Hopefully, I can I can get those inserted. There we go. That's that side. Now they go in. Flip that upside down, and this is the, the highest position you can get it, which is 21 and a half inches. And you can lower it all the way down to um, six inches if you want to do like some serious grilling. Uh, next step, insert two screw joint top of the T leg. So that would be like this. That's gonna go right here. See where the rotisserie is gonna go. Okay, so that'll go like that, I think. And this will go over here. Let's switch these. There we go. Put that over here on this side. And this one over here on this side. There's also four positions for the uh, rotisserie to work. Now these little these little bars right here. They go on the outside right here. In case you have like a, like a, like a coffee pot or something you want to put on here, you can, uh, you can keep them warm over the fire as well while your stuff's um, turning. Just keep it on the outside or whatever. If it's really heavy, like something like a uh, Dutch oven, you can put it right here. Then you can use this screw here to help screw it down. If it's heavier, it has more. Maybe you have a lot more uh, um, adjustment. But actually, I think that'd probably be the probably the ideal place to put everything. Now the skewer. Let me see. Now the spit here. This is gonna go into this little hole right here. And it's gonna slide in right here. And it's gonna lay on this rack. I'll get the camera down. I'll show you. All right, here's up close. So now this bar is gonna go into right here. And this one is gonna go in right here. The spit, let's try and zoom out. It also has an additional rod right here, which uh, I kind of like. So it's pretty cool. Actually, I think that is where you put the meat at. As long as your meat doesn't go that far, I mean, you're doing pretty good. So you're going to put the rod in here, and it's going to go up underneath here. Now, here's what's pretty cool about this it has four positions, so while you're cooking, it has four positions that you can move it into. So as you're turning, you turn it, pull it in, lock it. There's, there's, for, there's, 
the second position. You want to go to a third position, push in. There's your third position. There's your fourth position. There's your last position. It is, uh, is uh, kind of wobbly, but um, I'm going to be using my cinder blocks with it, so I'm not really too concerned with the wobbliness of it. It's going to be secured. And uh, I mean, you know, for 50 bucks, I mean, you really can't beat that. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. All right, so if you've watched this video up until this point, this video really technically probably isn't totally about this thing right here. You can probably learn this from anywhere. Um, this is what this is for is I just hit 2,000 subscribers and I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So if you've watched this video up into this point right now, uh, I appreciate it. So for those people that are fast forwarding through this, they're going to think that I'm talking about this right here right now. Okay, they're not going to know I'm actually talking about a giveaway I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be giving away just one knife. I'm not giving away two knives, not even three knives. I'm giving away five knives. So this is what I want you to do. If you've seen this video up until this point, I want you to put down in the comment section, hashtag got it. And that's going to indicate to me that, hey, uh, you watched this video all the way through. Because I am shooting for only uh, my most loyal uh, subscribers, viewers, to win these knives. So this is again giving you guys the best chance to actually to win one of these knives. And what I'm going to do is, somewhere between 2,000 subscribers and 3,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a, a drawing. I'm going to do a, a giveaway, and I'm going to do a random a mention, kind of like I'm doing now, on a video from now, from now into about 3,000 subscribers, because I only want to give you guys the best chance to win. And I'm not even going to put it, I'm not even going to put it into the, uh, the, the title or anything else. I'm not going to, you know, uh, you know, meathead giveaway or anything like that. Because I don't want to draw in a bunch of people that, that really, they're just giveaway chasers. So I don't, I'm not looking for giveaway chasers. I'm only looking to give this away to my most loyal uh, subscribers and fans. So if only five of you um, actually enter into the, to the contest, I won't even do a drawing. I'll just give away five of those knives. So, so be on alert for uh, some of my future videos for me to announce that that, that particular video is going to be the giveaway. Then when I do that, a week later, I'll do the drawing. I appreciate every single one of you. I truly do. Thank you for getting me to 2000. Um, I'm giving back. Um, Y'all been great. I do appreciate everything, everybody uh, watching and sticking by me. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, and I will see y'all next week. Ciao. Oh yeah, one more thing. This is how I'm going to set it up whenever I go to use it. Okay. So I'm going to have two bricks turned on the side here for airflow going in. Of course, that's where I'm going to put the fires, and of course, it's in the middle here. Then I have these around here to help direct the heat upward. I might even put another brick, another couple bricks up on top here, so it's more funneled upwards. So I have like a real nice, uh, like a real nice pit going. So I'm pretty excited about this. Thanks for joining me. Hashtag got it.